Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Royal Family News Channel. Now, let's get to the video. Gentlemen and ladies, greetings to the Royal Arena, where the tides are shifting, and Buckingham Palace is responding with a subtle yet impactful maneuver that could spell the end for Meghan and Omid Scobie. Today, we're delving into the latest royal spectacle capturing the internet's attention, and it revolves around none other than Prince Edward and rumors of his aversion to germs. Omid Scobie, taking the spotlight with his explosive book finale, asserted that a royal insider revealed Prince Edward's alleged disdain for physical contact. According to Scobie, Edward is a significant germaphobe known for steering clear of any hands that are not impeccably clean. If you thought this revelation marked a turning point for Meghan and Scobie, brace yourself, as Buckingham Palace has just unveiled a strategic move that might astonish you. In a meticulously planned video shared by the palace, we witness Prince Edward, the Duke of Edinburgh, visiting Wharf Studios in Barking and Dagenham, East London, last week. The purpose of the visit was to commemorate a decade of filmmaking. What makes this visit particularly captivating is that Prince Edward is not merely socializing with the elite or exchanging pleasantries with fellow royals. Instead, he is actively shaking hands with the general public. Yes, you read that correctly, the prince, known for his germophobia, is now enthusiastically participating in a full-fledged handshake spree. Buckingham Palace's well-planned maneuver stands as a subtle contradiction to Scobie's assertions. It's almost like they're declaring, germaphobe? Witness as Prince Edward takes charge of the narrative, immersing himself in a sea of handshakes. It's a tactical move, a regal mic drop that might leave Meghan and Scobie taken aback. Now, let's revisit the turmoil unleashed upon the royals by Scobie's endgame. The book has been a whirlwind, a tempest of scandalous allegations and charges. The Dutch edition, in particular, escalated matters by identifying two senior royals allegedly engaged in discussions about the skin color of Prince Harry and Meghan's son, Archie. The aftermath was so intense that the Dutch edition was swiftly removed from shelves on its release day. In his characteristic style, Scobie denied explicitly naming the royals and remained unapologetic. However, in an unexpected turn, he acknowledged an early and unclear text circulating in the Netherlands. The Dutch publisher countered, labeling his explanation as factually incorrect and emphasizing the prohibition on discussing the book's content. Here we find ourselves amidst a crossfire of royal disputes. Buckingham Palace, led by Prince Edward, is challenging the narrative with a strategic response, sending a message that the royals won't stand by passively as their reputations are tarnished. As this saga unfolds, the reaction of Meghan and Scobie to this royal countermove remains uncertain. Will they step back, reconsider, or stand firm on their claims? One thing is evident. The royal chessboard is vibrant with intrigue, and each move is a calculated play in this high-stakes game. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.